Buset, gila ya. Okay. Who remembers what we did last time? There was fighting. We got letters. We did. Oh my god, yes, we did. Sorry, my notebook was MIA last time, so I'm... <laughs> we all, most of us got letters to go to the castle, and um, I said, hey, it's a trap, so be on your guard. And then Amanda got a letter to go to um, Aunt Kel. They got letters to go elsewhere, not to the castle. Um, but we were like, nah, we're going to the castle. <laughs> my dad I took care of mine already. There. I took care of mine. My letter's done. I started a camp. Cobalt summer camp. Cobalt, cobalt camp. <laughs> cobalt yeah, theater cobalt camp. Summer. It's cobalt theater camp. Oh, it's changing. So we got to the castle and went to the inn. Only the inn was locked up. And Percy was like, oh, hey. And I was like, hey, don't do that. But before we fought some some folks and there was a guy who was clearly under the influence of his uh oh man i had it in my head earlier today Bad rock. his club <sighs> dang it what is it called it will happen talking about the thing the guy that was under the influence i can't Bad remember rock. what it's called though yeah yeah Charlotte and, and, and then the Thank you. Yeah, so he's clearly under the influence and of the Charlotte Club, which someone now, uh, picked it up. The lamp there has. Mm -hmm. Yup. <sighs> having a wonderful time. And it, so it definitely seems like we're having, uh, we're, we're sensing some similarities to our interactions with um, speaker, what's his face? Because we had the little like footprints that shrunk. And we had. The Chardolin. So, yeehaw. And there's no <laughs> inn to stay at, and so they want us to go sleep in his castle, which sounds super culty, and also like, we're gonna get murdered. Mm. Okay. Right, we're going to the Not castle. Bad. I forgot about that. I'm excited. So, since things got, as they often do, strange before we ended last time, mm -hmm. we're going to um, imagine in our brains that we've walked into the tavern for the very first time. We're going to rerun that so you get something useful to use tonight um, instead of weirding everyone out. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> okay. So you are in the town of Cairdineval. You had, as you noticed, gotten letters um, that will probably be important. Um, you might want to reflect on what was written to you there. Um, you did say you, you tried to go to the inn. It was closed, as Dr. pointed out. We saw some strange things there. So you made your way over to the tavern, okay? As you enter this tavern here, what you notice is that there is not very many people in the tavern at all. You can see that there is kind of a rugged middle-aged man behind the counter there. Um, and you can see off into one of the other rooms, there is a dwarf sitting at a table. Um, and the interesting thing about this dwarf is that she is very pointedly not looking at you. She is doing her best to pretend she doesn't see you at all. Uh, you said a dwarf? Yes. Okay. Just for clarification, this isn't Mildred who we've just met, is it? It is Mildred. Okay. All right. Oh, and now we're going to weird her out because we know her name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Millie. <laughs> okay. I just want to, I, no. I have notes. So. Good, good, good. Um, so the tavern owner, his name is Rorick. He asks you if he can, what can he do for you tonight? Find travelers. Ooh. Um, the inn is closed. 
Um, that's weird. What do we do? Oh, he says, yeah, yeah, the inn is closed. It's been closed for a while. Uh, he, uh, he really blames the fact that the ferry from East Haven has shut down on this. Really, there's been no visitors. There's been no shipments. There's been no nothing. And well, it doesn't make sense to keep the inn open. But if you're looking for a place to stay, the best place is up at the castle. They have space there. Just to make sure, because my initial hopes were dashed when I realized the reality here. That is F-E-R-R-Y, correct? The ferry? Not the F-A-I-R-Y? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a yeah, moment of like, wait, say. what? And then my brain did the Donrick same was extremely thing. disappointed. What? Oh. Out. Ferries the shit down. <laughs> so. He says, oh, you mentioned the other types of fairy? There's none of those here, but there's other weird things going on that um, maybe if you buy a meal, I'll tell you about. Maybe if we, I'm sorry, what? We would I'll buy a mead. We, we, oh, a yeah. mead. Okay. Good. I thought you said maybe if you buy me some meat, and I was like, that's a weird request. <laughs> We also hear this chowder over in these parts. Yeah. Yeah. I Yeah. What? Everyone's what 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 did Todrick say? We hear there's some great chowder over in these parts. Chowder. Yes. I shall bring you some chowder. Would you that would be great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Is this like code so for something? Why are we speaking it so look? I'll, I'll have louder. <laughs> apparently, Chowder apparently it sounded like I said something else. I know. I was like, are we speaking in code? What's happening? <laughs> I'll have a glass of mead while you're at it. Thank you. Oh, he says, yeah, no can do. There is no, no alcohol, no mead. Very sad. No shipments with the ferry down. But my chowder is really good. So I'll bring you chowder. Sounds what kind of chowder? Well, you know, Alia doesn't really say anything. She just kind of looks at him. And he kind of slowly backs away. Godric passed a message to Hakufius. She says, we're weird. Uh, I really wanted a meat. Oh my god, this is Scottish free. I really wanted that meat. <laughs> I've got some of bacon. <laughs> You're gonna get us kicked out. You're not allowed to have it. <laughs> is there anything else you're not allowed to have it? It's just that it's a dry the ferry. Down. <laughs> it seems like it's dry. He doesn't have no, any. The, the, the ferry is. Oh, the shut down, so they can't right. get any shipments in. That's why. Okay. So, is there anyone else that we might see around? Anything else interesting in this space? I want to go talk to Mildred. Yes. Yes. You can go talk to Mildred. Yes. Okay. Hey, girl. Hey. Well, wait. I want my chair. Okay. Um. Nick Fon, Nick Fon's gonna like scurry over to Mildred and just like hi. Um, <clears throat> I saw you from across the room and I felt I don't know why that, that I did the sorry that accent was way bad. Um, I'm hearing a rom com right now though, so it's great. <laughs> you know rom com. I saw you from across the room and I just thought you're so pretty. <laughs> Nick Fon is Hugh Grant. All right, <laughs> it's Hugh Grant. <laughs> <laughs> with the nervous fidget and everything. <laughs> I want you to roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> okay. You say something like, I'm just a boy oh. standing here asking a girl to love him, a dwarf to love him. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> um persuasion that's 19 
Ooh. Oh, oh, so Mildred here. Mildred is feeling your awkward vibe. She's she's picking up on it. She's liking it. Um, <laughs> she's feeling it. Um, so she kind of gestures you over to sit at the table with her. You know, she puts her elbow up. She flashes her pretty little eyelashes at you. And she mm. says, so you don't get a lot of new folks in town. What brings you here? Oh, we're we're on an exciting, a very exciting adventure. It's been it's been quite fun. Yes, we we've had see we have um, a slew of merry merry people here, and um, we've come come a long way, come a long way, and we're on a mission. You see, so um, yes, we bunch of adventurers really. Oh, she says a, a mission. Are you? Are you here to do something about the, uh, and she leans really close to you and she says, are, are you here to do something about the cold? The cold? Um, yeah, you know what? I think that's exactly why we're here. Exactly. Would you want to tell me some, do you want to tell me some more about that? Just, you know, I would just want to make sure that you know what I know. Oh, he well, gets he gets like significantly closer to like he's like he's got his elbows on the table, but he's like leaning in unnecessarily far. <laughs> she likes it. She likes it. She's going to put her hand right on your elbow. Yeah, she's real close to you. <laughs> um, I'm just going to well, slowly like pick up his elbow and go. <laughs> 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 this backfired on him. <laughs> well, she says, she tells you most of the folk here, including Rorik, are too scared to say it. But since the cult has arrived, it's been really bad business here in Caradineval. Um, So we really, you know... Mm, she kind of looks around and she says, it's never good to have devil worshippers in town now, is it? And, well, no one's seen the speaker in months. Um, so it's great that you're here to go sort all of that out for us. So great. So great. Um, so, so there... They're a bunch of devil worshippers. That that's just not something that I can stand for. I just can't can't stand those. Oh, they make me so mad. Um, <laughs> um, and he just like puts his hand on over hers a little bit, and he goes, "So when when did they come? I know it's probably really hard to talk about, but but when did when did all this start?" She gets lost in your eyes for a couple moments to take a deep breath to think about this contact that's happening here. And she says, well, there was a, a white tiefling that appeared several months ago. And she brought these really strange gargoyles with her. And they as most folks do, they had an audience with the speaker. It seemed fine, but then the speaker took ill, and well, that's when the cult showed up, and I just don't want things to happen between the cultist and the children of Oriole, and well, we can't really be a battleground again. There was a battle when what what battle is this? I'm I'm just so interested in the history behind you know, this fair town. I'm tell me more. Tell me more, beautiful, beautiful Mil Mildred. <laughs> she totally, she's like feeling it. She's like stroking her beard and she's leaning real close to you. And she says, be. Oh. <laughs> she says, Oh. 
I've spent a lot of time on the history of this town. My folks have, you know, it's, it's my passion. And I'm so glad you want to hear about this. Nothing so, would make me looks- happier. <laughs> So she tells you all about the history of town, how the first settlers came, how they built the castle, how they, you know, decided that they were better than everyone in the whole town. Well, unfortunately, what happened there was it attracted the attention of some marauding orcs that came and they kind of sieged laid siege to the entire castle where the town had taken refuge and um well yeah everyone died that was pretty awful um so we would like to not have everyone die again that'd be great um i mean that that's completely fair completely fair i'm trying to think of something else are we able to overhear some of this like we're kind of Trying to listen in. Oh, Rainali has been squirking in the background. She's she's been there paying Slurking. attention. Oh, what was the word you just said? Squirking. Like <laughs> she's she's like skulking, she's skulking in the yeah. background. Yeah. Skulking and lurking. Skirking, but, you know, skirking. I was like, what? Skirking. She's like, you haven't seen her, but she's there. She's been listening. She's skulking and twerking at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Renali is really upset that she did not get the meat, so she's twerking in the background. <laughs> she's going through a job. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else I can ask. I'm trying to think of what else I can ask Mildred about. I, I have a question. What? What should so, I ask her? Hold oh, on. Sorry. I will say that the rest of you can be close enough to hear because Mildred is just so enamored by Nick Bond that she doesn't notice the rest of you. Also, we could probably hear like Nick Fong's really awkward laugh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Mildred, you're so funny. <laughs> She's just hilarious. Um, well, I'd, I'd like... case, well, as soon as Millie mentioned tieflings, like Percy's just like, just did that. <laughs> Like halfway with a spoon of chowder to her mouth, and it's just like staring. I'm trying to add, like think of what else about the history I can ask. Can I, Angela? Can I do a history check and just have her like tell me everything? At, like well, all she, she did, she just laid it. All no, down. but like oh. even more. I feel like oh. I. I don't know. I feel like I miss. Like I feel like I need to ask a question. And I don't know what to ask. I'm like trying to think of what I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do a do a history. Actually, you know what? Do a religion check for me. Oh, okay. Ooh. You haven't done one of those in a while. Yeah, I haven't asked to do one of those in a while. <laughs> um, that's actually only a seven. So, with a seven, the <laughs> the nudge you get from your gods is that perhaps Mildred knows more about these cultists than she's letting on. Okay. So Nick Bond's just gonna like slowly like he's gonna like lick his eyebrow just like a little bit. Like he's gonna run a hand over his eyebrow like this and just be like my My dear Mildred, I know that we've only just met, but I can't help but feel very a kindred to you. I would love it if you could tell me some more about this cult. I know that there's probably a lot you're not really wanting to tell me, but Mildred, it's me. It's Nick Vaughn. You can tell me anything. It's the first time you're telling her your name, but <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nick Fong. I'm dying this time. Oh. oh, she's like she's feeling the vapors here. She's gonna fan herself for a minute. She's she's definitely feeling that. <laughs> um, so what she tells you is that these cultists 
call themselves the Knights of the Black Sword. And that's because these were all poor souls that got lost out on the tundra and they would have frozen to death had they not been saved by the archdevil of Vistras. And when they had awoken from their near-death experience, they all had a, a pendant of a, a sword, a black sword, in that, that Chardolin material. And now they've kind of set up here in the town of Cardinal as their headquarters in the castle. You said the archdevil what? Levistus. Levistus. Okay. Um, Doderick, can Doderick cast message to Nick Fon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> how can we ask how 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 long has the cult been in the castle at this point? And my and my Dylan Mildred, how long has how long has this been going on? How long have you had to live with this? Horrible, horrible endeavor. Well. Well, she says. And she gets, she, she takes both of your hands in hers and she pulls you really close. And she says, well, it's been a pretty rough year, you know, but now that you're here, I think everything's going to be better. Oh, Mildred, thank thank you so much for. I'm, I'm going to barge in right now, just just like I'm bowling over, and be like, "Who's your dwarf friend?" This is Mildred. <laughs> Mildred, this Hello. is Calanthier. Hello, Mildred. Uh... Mildred, <clears throat> Mildred is so angry. She is glaring at you, Calanthier, and she's like. <laughs> Squeezing Nick Von's hand so tightly. Uh, Nick Von slowly trying to like get out of her grasp. Like, <laughs> I, I apologize for interrupting this meeting, but about what? Nildar. Nildar? <laughs> yes. If she knows anything about you, Nildar, can just ask her. You just barged in. Have you seen? How, how... <laughs> Annoyed this dwarf is at me. I need you to ask her about Nildar. <laughs> My dear, dear, dear Mildred, could you tell me more about Nildar, please? <laughs> Loud enough for my friend here to maybe overhear. <laughs> <laughs> he just like. Takes her, takes her beard and just like twists it and is able to do it. Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my! She says, "Ooh, ooh, boy, this is this is too much. This is, um, I am um, well to tell you about this, um." What was it again? Nildar? Um, I yeah. I think that might um I think that might require a kiss. Oh Nick Von Nick Don't, Von don't let me be in the way. <laughs> Nick Von looks, looks at Calanthier with like this solid hard look of like what the hell did you just get me into? And then he looks back at Mildred and he's like Oh, a kiss. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll... Get, get... Be gentle with it. <laughs> <laughs> and Nick Pond just like slowly, like, <laughs> like he tr he's trying so hard to just kiss her without his lips touching her bristles. <laughs> and he's just like quickly and just like ever so unpassionately taps her lips and quickly <laughs> just like he just subtly, like, oh, that tickled. <laughs> Give me a performance check. Ooh. Oh. I'll assist. <laughs> no. That's not how you do that. That's a six. That's a sixteen. 
<laughs> okay, 16. So you you managed to give Mildred a very brief kiss, leaving her quite unsatisfied. But you have <laughs> technically met the conditions of her request. Um, and she said, she, um, she's a bit sad. And she says, Oh, well, so mean. She says, um, I, I don't know what a Nildar is. It sounds like really strange. Um, is it a, a an animal, a, a, a person? I mean, maybe, maybe they'll know up at the castle what this Nildar is. Oh. What, what, what'd you the say? Council, maybe the council knows about oh, okay. Nildar. This is, this is what you ask what council is. What, what council? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was writing down what she said. <laughs> the castle, not the council, the castle. Oh, so, oh. Oh, oh, I thought it said council. So the castle All knows right, about the ca the castle knows about Nildar? Yeah, the people in the castle know about Nildar. Uh -huh. Okay. Potentially. All right. Anybody else have Mildred any other questions? Says, well, once to huh? Mildred. Mildred's like, well, if you need a place to stay, I, you know, you could stay with me. Just, just you, Nick Vaughn, and me <laughs> together. <laughs> I mean, I That's would love to stay with you, my dearest Mildred. However, my companions are are my family and I do need for them to always be with me and it would be just so amazing if you could also house them I would just deeply deeply appreciate it and be in your debt for as long as I uh, am around I guess the daughter at cast minor illusion <laughs> yes so, uh, Daughter of Cast Minor Illusion is really just, we're going for sound. And it's just, you know, deep bass line, very, uh, you know, funk. Yeah. Just to just try to set the mood for Nick Vaughn. And, uh, yeah. Is Nick Vaughn going to have to, like, do something for the team? Like, is this going to... I don't know. Down? It sounds like Mildred wants to this make that long down. rest or short rest for you. Just saying. I, I think you just did. I hear the music playing a little bit, and I just very subtly in the background go, Do it, take one, do it, tell the team. Hey, take that long, 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 long rest with Mildred. Hey, <laughs> I'm Nick Hunt Nick Nick needs a lot of me. <laughs> Side quest. We uh, save the town, get the ferry going, and we get you uh, with Mildred with me. Um, I'm pretty sure Nick Vaughn's gonna like Nick Vaughn's gonna just like try and leave town as fast as possible now. <laughs> <laughs> Although he got what he needed out of the conversation. Okay. I think yeah. I think so, yeah. Mildred here. She's a. She says, "Well, I can." I can see that you're, um, what she wants to say. She's going to say that it's okay if you need to discuss this with your, um, she kind of looks at the others, family mm -hmm. first. Um, but, um, you know, and she just kind of like, um, She's going to tuck a little slip of paper with her address on it right into your pockets. And she says, this is where I am. If you want to come find me later? I, um, good luck. Oh, oh I will. Sweet, 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 Mildred. Thank you. Thank you again for just being you. And he just kind of like, and just like <laughs> walks, <laughs> and walks, walks back away. To, the, to the group. <laughs> But they all heard. Mildred. They all heard everything, so I don't really need to relay anything. I guess. No, Mildred's sad, but she watches you go. She watches your ass for sure. 
Mm. <laughs> Nick Fon doesn't like that. As, okay. as uh, Nick Fon walks away, I do a little uh, pipe organ, a little like gospel jazz. <laughs> As the ass sways. Uh, well, we get outside and I remind our no, friends. No, no, no. Nick Fun doesn't uh, high five a Clanthea on this one. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. We get outside and I remind everyone I have Leoman's tiny hut. Worst case scenario, we can use that to get a long rest. Mm. I think we should do that. I, Nick Fun is like highly for that. <laughs> Um, first we would like to know if perhaps we ought to go to the castle? I'm for that. I'm for that too. Seems like we'll get a lot more answers if we go there. We could. Well, can we we, we want to go to the castle, but um, some of us need healing before we, we go to the castle. We need to heal before that happens. Yeah, no, I think we should do the hut thing, but I think afterwards we go to the castle. I don't oh, think we should sleep in the castle. Right. I, yeah. yeah the... It's like, well, we could always set up the hut in the castle, like in a room. If they gave us a room, we could just set up the hut in the room, and then yeah. But what if it's a trap? Just like wasn't wasn't I can't um get into the hut. That's invitation only. Yeah, it's yeah, invitation only. Oh, uh, I'm with Renali on this one. I think I don't know if we should go in the castle just yet. I think we should long rest first and then do the castle. Nikon needs a bath after kissing Mildred. There's no, it's it's a tiny hut. We're, we do not have Mordecai's magnificent mansion. Magnificent mansion yet. You just sit with so... Dodger. Dodger, press the digitation me. Press the digitation. <laughs> yep. yep. Hide me. You could go check out the boarded up in see if you could use that to sleep in yeah. just how many or you go up to the yeah we could money. break in the we could break in the end you're you're that only has a limited number of charges right the lemons tiny hut like three or something and i think we've used one yeah i only i only have two left yeah so it seems like we might want to oh you are really quiet i just want to let you know that is it just me no, it is oh. not just you. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's just like, like right. you sometimes Rather you sound like you're, you're you're good far and then away, suddenly, yeah. and then you go. <laughs> Stupid headsets. I'm so glad that worked out so well. <laughs> what are we doing, folks? Where are we going? castle in i think we should do it i think we should go to the inn that's just my take i think we should go to the it break into the inn and i'm waiting for the inn as well lay squatters rights and enter make it the second location of the cobalt summer camp love it let's do it Squatters rights that one's gonna be the sports camp though the other one is the theater camp this one will be the sports camp cobalt's playing basketball and baseball or snowshoe. Okay. Snowshoeing, yes. I need so you guys go back to the inn as um a reminder. This is all the doors are locked, the windows are boarded up. You can kind of peek in through the window. Um, but to get in, I need you guys to all do a strength check for me. Every single all one of you strength check. <laughs> yes. Could be worse. Could be worse. More. Dirty 20. Fairly decent. 15? 6. 16. 15. Ooh, yeah. you're lucky. Just as good as the paladin. Go me. <laughs> okay. So you managed through the six of you, you managed to force open the door. It opens kind of creakily. There's a lot of dust in the air when you get into the main room. And 
What you notice when you get in, there is a layer of dust over everything in this room. And it looks like nothing has been disturbed in a really long time. Guys, forgot I have a portable battering ram. <laughs> Anyway, Orbit. moving on. We got in, but still. <laughs> so, mm. Percy sneezes. So what are we doing? Where's Percy sneezes? We're just standing in the room. It's kind of dusty. What are we doing? What are we thinking? Talk to me, kid. Um... um... Raksha to sniff around and um, if she smells anything uh, living. Okay, give me a survival check. For Raksha, what is survival? Survival is uh, perception. Uh... Oh, that looks good. It's good stuff. Okay. 20. Dirty 20. Oof. So, Raksha sniffs around. Uh, she gets a little snow left over whiskers twitching about. And she seems really interested in the in a doorway that um, seems to be leading, you think, to um, where maybe the guest rooms are. So she kind of like puts her little nose right up against the crack of the door, just kind of pawing at it. So that's that's where she's interested in. <clears throat> I see her pawing, and I'm already drawing a bow, or draw, yeah, yeah, drawing an arrow and placing it in my bow. And I kind of alert the others, like, "Hey, there's something in there." Crap! Mildred followed me. Will you open the door? I do, but not with my hands. I'm kind of kicking it open with my foot. Like, mm. Ooh, yeah. Okay. As you open the door, Raksha shoots through it completely so fast. She's running down the hallway and she go disappears into the open door near the end. <gasps> Raksha, come. Raksha! And I'm kind of running after her. <laughs> okay. So you run down the hallway after Raksha and you find her in one of the guest rooms. And the weird thing about this guest room is that it seems pretty clean. And Raksha is scarfing down something from a pan that was left over the hearth. Hmm. Food. Interesting. Raksha. <laughs> uh, Hobo has been here. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I look around the room um, and I look for uh, Hobo. <laughs> anything. <laughs> Anything of use left behind? Any um, traps? Any? I just want to make sure it's safe. Do an investigation check. Same dice. Why me? Why? I should just have rock share roll. Um, <laughs> uh, an eight. Ooh. Okay. So with the eight, what you notice quite easily um, as we did before is that the room is unlike where you first entered. It's a, uh, well, it's not clean, right? It's still a bit dirty, a bit old, but it's obvious that someone or something has been living here. Okay. Um, have the others followed me into this room? Oh. Percy has her hand up. Um, I would say I kind of followed behind. I'm just kind of curious how big this room is. 
it's it's like I don't know, ten by ten. It's a it's in a room. It's it's a small in room. Okay. Can I motion for Raksha and Renalia to come out of the room? Okay. I um I go Raksha's eating. So I go over to her and I kind of put her stuff in the mouth and I'm like, come on, girl, come on. <laughs> and, and we go we go out of the room. Uh, she so finishes she eating all the sausage in the pan first and then she goes. <laughs> okay. I'm like, Raksha, come on. <laughs> um, once they are out of the room, I am going to cast fairy fire on the room. And so, um, just to make sure that there's nothing there, everything is glowing purple right now, and if anything is invisible, it's also glowing purple so I can see it. Well, we'd all be able to see it. Magic mm. purple glowing! Okay. So... What happens here is um, nothing. It reveals nothing. So the room just, just looks like a purple rave now? Yes, yes, exactly. You've created a purple rave. <laughs> Percy shrugs. Worth the try. Doderick cast minor illusion. <laughs> <laughs> we need the rave music, don't we? Um, no, we just need a disco ball, I think. But <laughs> okay, so you in the in that appears someone's lived there recently. They've left maybe their supper over the fire that has now been eaten by Raksha, but they're not currently home. Well, my spell only lasts a minute, so it'll probably be deep purple by the time they get home. Right. Okay. Yes, been living here. Well, let's not pick this room. So it's clear someone's been living here. I suggest that um, we take shifts. Because they'll be back. They should probably sleep in a different room. It would be rude to sleep in someone else's bedroom. Without asking. That's fair. We presume there are other rooms. Do we see any others? Yes. There are several other rooms. There's enough rooms for each of you. Why no. don't... No, hmm. there's not. I mean, yes, there are, but I don't think that's a good idea. Agreed. Third. Quadro. Why don't why don't every single one of you give me an investigation check so you can look in the rooms? Ooh. Nineteen. Sixteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Sixteen. Okay. So, that was pretty good. So, you all go into the other rooms. You check them out. Um, what you notice here is that all of the rooms seem to have been used recently. Um, they are definitely signs that folks have been sleeping in those beds, but there is no trace of who or what these peoples might be, um, and there is no, you can't pick up any way from your initial search here of how they might be getting in or out of the inn. Hmm. Hmm. 
This feels ominously familiar. Rinalia doesn't like this. <laughs> Is wow. there an attic? Is there a second floor? No. Is there a basement? You've seen all of the rooms. So none of the rooms, all the rooms have been used recently. There's no room that has not been touched recently. It's oh. right. But the hallway and the main entrance look dusty and untouched. Yes. So they're getting in a different way. They're turning little and then they're getting big. It's the little big. It's the big little thing. It's that. It's the big That's little. It. It's, the it's the big little thing. It's the shrink the shrinky things. So there's yeah. nothing that would there's nothing that we can find that would indicate you said we wouldn't know who they are, like we wouldn't know their race by chance, the size. Like can we look at the beds to see you know, there's the pillow, and then there's the sheets, and like, are there a couple? Is there an imprint in the mattress? Not been at the bottom that would make them almost Doderick sized, or maybe a little bigger. You know, like oh, a, oh, like an underdark dwarf of some sort. <clears throat> the poop nuggets. Give me, yeah, give me an investigation check. Right. Ugh. Uh, ugh, that's a 13. Hmm. Sad. It's very sad. Um, so, <laughs> Dodrick is trying to look in the bed, trying to figure out, you know, as Nick Font suggested, like, is there an imprint? They left things on the sheets. What are these things about? And, um, yeah, you're getting nothing here. You just know someone's been living in it, and, um, you don't know how big, how small, what they could be. Just looks um, well lived in. Mm. Can can I suggest to Raksha to maybe sniff sniff the bells, the beds, not the bells, the beds. I uh, I say Raksha. Sniff, sniff? She can sniff, right, but um, she's just going to tell us if she smells something familiar or not. And uh, But, like, if she does the sniff, sniff, and I speak speak with animals, then she can tell me what she's smelling. Can we have her sh sniff Galanthier's, um club? Oh. Oh. Can I flail? Oh. Yeah, because you just killed somebody. No, that because might... it is Chardolin. Yeah. And this is true. sounded a lot like the little Chardolin. Uh, uh, oh, cred. I got to look up. What are they called? Mm -hmm. the, the swords of the ninth. Century. So I say to Raksha, Raksha, ready to go to work, girl. This is this is really important. I need you to sniff Calanthea's. Uh, uh, Shart. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Like? Club. <laughs> Chartolin no. Club. Yep. <laughs> Just gonna jingle, jingle my flame. Sniff. <laughs> it's Shark. It's 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 not killer thing. You don't need to sniff him. It's okay. It'll be better. Just just the club. Just the club. You and don't want to sniff that. No, that you must be go sniff the time. beds. And and uh, our friend Percy here is gonna speak with you, and you can tell her if you smell the same smell. <sighs> You ready, girl? Sniff. And we I hold the club in front of her nose. <laughs> Just jingle the flail. Oh. Let me pull up her stats. What kind of check would you like her to do for that? Like a perception or a investigation? Uh, Investigation. Okay. It's an intelligence. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> she got a negative one. <laughs> oh my, my god. <laughs> she still she's like she goes back to the sausage pan. So she sneezed on the bed and then went back to the sausage pan. Yeah. Her nose went up her brain. Let's use Clanthier. We'll hold that in front of Clanthier and Clanthier can smell it. Here, Clanthier. No, I'm gonna lay down on the bed. That was amazing. <laughs> so that was a so good plan. It seems, to me, it seems to me that we have two options. One, we spend the night here with the understanding that we may get those visitors, which we may want to understand who they are, assuming they were they are Durigar on the going with the so. Meta, meta, well, maybe not even meta talk. This is just trying to make sense of it, even as a character. So we know we've got speaker Namus, who seems to be associated, although he claims not to be, with the Duragar. We're hanging around, grabbing Chardolin, hopping into stuff, doing doing all that jazz. Then we also have the Archdevil, who also has a group of folks with these little, uh, uh, also associated with Chardolin. So either way, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know if they're related, working together, not. Uh, Kufius, do you recall what was in your letter? This might help. I, I know it was in my letter, well, my letter, but I'm worried about the speaker up there who's fallen ill. Well, my letter had an invitation to code to the castle um, to party. So we could probably get there and sleep. Like that might actually be the safest place to rest in the short term because they want you to be there. Because they they like they like my EP I put out. Yeah. <laughs> that take you that long to figure that out? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um. I Angela, I had an idea to like. Pray to pray to my deity to like tell me more about this arch devil, like, and like see if I can get more insight on it. But I don't know if now's the right time. I guess we uh, can go you... to the castle with my invitation in tow. Is that what you're calling me now? Wait, no, never mind. Ho or toe? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Paolo. Hey, uh, I got. I will let. Ma, sorry. Uh, uh, Hokuvis has this invite because he's he's a uh, he's a VIP, uh, for this castle thing, and so uh, we we could go there, and I bet I could get you in, and maybe not have to fuck the door. We'll find out. We'll see. Wow! Way to call me out, dude. Hey, you're not willing to commit. I am. <laughs> I have I have morals. <laughs> Angela, sorry, did you say something to me? Yeah, if you want to do a religion check, okay, we could do that now. Talk to your god, see what they have to tell you. Uh, that is 18. Cool. 18. So, as Nick Vaughn is speaking with his gods here, what you are picking up is that there is a deep aura of underdark energies. Okay, so you get that. And it's especially, you're picking up that it's especially coming those from, um, you feel like they're coming from Levistus, that, that arch devil we've talked about. And that seems to be over the entire town. But it does seem to be a little deeper, a little more under darkness in this inn. So you think maybe there is something extra that is also using the inn here. But maybe, maybe you're just sensing some of that from Percy as well. 
I'm sensing it from Percy. I think we should go to the end. Yes, my dad. <laughs> Not the end. The castle. The castle. That's what I meant. I think we should go to the castle. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. You stank. <laughs> I was going to skirking instead of skulking. Um, skirking. To the castle. <laughs> to the castle. That's where we need to go. <laughs> Uh, are we going to the castle? Is that what we're doing? Let's do it. Okay. To the castle. Here we go. It's going to be exciting. Going on okay. a bolt hunt. Wait, before we get to the castle, can Nick Vaughn take Percy aside and be like, can you like tell me more about your dad? Like, Can you tell me a little bit more about your little family history? Like, Um, well... <laughs> you leave me alone. Nick Vaughn is an awkward man. How far back do you want me to go? Um, when I was a baby, I was found in the woods by a family of squirrels. Um, the squirrels rushed to the nearest druid conclave, and they found, they found Kevin Lightfoot and his husband Keith, and um, they came and found me, and then, um, they raised me, and then, um, they passed away, and then I came here, and, yeah, that was pretty quick. The can end. I do, can I do, like, an investigation, or, like, maybe another religion check or something to, like, to see like if what I'm sensing this dark aura that I'm sensing is that like the same is that presence like in like a part of her or like yes go ahead that... okay is that really is that a religion check again yeah okay <sighs> am I to assume that Percy has no idea what's going on that's a 22 So with that 22, um, I would like Percy to explain about tieflingness and what that means um, okay, and why so, Nick Fun might be getting some of that. So like, I mean, obviously the, the Keith and Kevin aren't my biological parents. I'm tiefling and they're, you know, not. Um... So tieflings, I guess, can kind of come about in a lot of different ways. I mean, sometimes you can just have, like, two people who have some weird infernal thing going on and maybe don't even know it. And, like, poof, their baby's a tiefling. Whoa! Big shock there. Um, or sometimes it can be as direct as someone fucked a devil. Um, I, don't, I don't know which one I am. Also, two tieflings would make another tiefling, I think. I assume. Okay, so it has something to do with her tiefling this? Because she is part devil. demon. Okay. Devil, oh. not demon. Devil. Sorry. Yeah. Forgive me. It's hey, it's okay, but they are different. Oh, yeah. No, Angela. Yeah. But like, just because I sense sense it off her doesn't mean necessarily they're related or in any way. Correct. Okay. That's what I was curious if we were gonna have a party, party in my father moment. Okay. Okay. Back. Sorry, we can go to the castle now. That I just wanted to ask the question. Okay. Is he my dad? To the castle. Okay. So Dude. you. When you, let me ask you this, when you exit the inn, what do you, how do you leave it? As you bust it open the door. As found it is possible. Except for you know. in one room. Except for the sausages. I tell Raksha, spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I know that says, sorry about the sausages. 
So I let, um, I, I'm last to leave and I'm looking because some of the rooms were untouched. Yep. If there were footprints left in the dust or fingerprints or something, I'm grabbing some sort of maybe a leaf or, or like a twig or a cloth and I'm, I'm erasing our footprints as we go. Yeah. Can Daughter um, help by going around like just kind of casting prestidigitation everywhere to just make it essentially just make it look like someone hired a maid? Just, just like and then if out. we broke <laughs> if we broke anything, I can use mending to repair it. Oh yeah, we can I just, just walk out. That would have been smarter. Oh my god, you're a bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> I got none of this like tidying up spells or anything like that. I just walk I... out the same way we came in. <laughs> Kel walks out through a dude new entrance kicked in. He's a Hell. liability. He's a liability. Now we have to fix that one. I oh. use really? Nick Cram goes and mends the place Nick smell like goes flowers it. for like five seconds and then leaves. So question. <laughs> how how cold is it in the inn? Ooh, baby, it's cold out. Mm. So in the main area, it felt like it had been a boarded up abandoned house. But since there was some fires back in the other rooms, it was, you know, not warm, warm, but it was comfortable. So in the main, you know, you had to leave your coat on. Like 40 degrees, something like that. Or, okay. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Tundrick would like to use his, um, his, uh, what was it called? Maybe it's like can? flask. This flask oh. of, of unending water. And shape water to create an ice sculpture of a Doragar. Uh in 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 the middle of the, the main space. Okay. It, it, okay, so you're it, it may last more than an hour if it's, if it's cold. Nice. Okay. It's so beautiful. I made a terrible mistake. It's beautiful. Well, if that's the case, then Percy's just gonna druid craft uh, flowers and put them in a vase that's probably broken that she found on the floor. <clears throat> At some point, Rinalia goes, well, for fuck's sake, and just walks out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they knew we were here. Right. Better than you found it. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to make it look like we weren't here, guys. Like we weren't here. <laughs> Housekeeping. Okay, let's go up to castle. Here we are. So you leave the inn in better state than you found it with some nice decorations. Um, And as you exit the inn, you're going to be climbing up a slightly inclining roadway to a sturdy stone castle that kind of sits up on top of the cliffs that look over the town and the frozen harbor of the nearby lake. There are four cylindrical guard towers with their flags on top of it as well. Um, And these towers are connected by battlements and other things. Um, Battlements and other things. They are connected by icy battlements. Now atop the castle walls um, and within the guard towers, you can see that this is obviously an inhabited castle. There are torches flickering on the inside there. Um, And as you reach the main gate, there are two iron portcullises and two sets of closed wooden doors that seal off the castle. And from within the gatehouse, there is a voice that calls out and says, Halt, who goes there? Hi. That's you, Hakupius. I know, I'm trying to unmute the camera. Or the microphone. Uh, it is I, Hakuvius, the magnificent bard, who I have a note right here, and I wave it very daintily <laughs> with the seal. Uh, I, my my uh, presence and my party's presence was requested. Hi. Um, yeah, we don't... I don't know who you are. What are you talking about? What? Hakufius? Yeah, no. The listen, the the speaker's really ill and he's not taking guests. So um I don't know what to tell you. That's not what we were told at the tavern. They oh said it's, there was no in that that's the this is where people have to stay. 
The, the letter oh. Lovistus. Um, oh. Hold on a minute, he says, and he goes away, leaving you standing in the cold, very confused. Oh, and nice. as soon as soon as everything starts working again, I can give you more information. Okay. Oh. Ooh, there we are. So here you are, outside of the castle, the walls, the big gates in front of you, as you can see. And the guy from the guard tower has left you standing in the cold. But from one of the side doors, you hear a little bit of scuffling. And it opens up just an itsy bitsy crack. And this person sticks their heads out. And they say, oh, it is you. How creepy is. You're the author of that great song that makes fun of those highbrow worship services as Modius, aren't you? Yes, oh, it's it's yes, it is I. And I kind of like, I look around a little sheepishly. Oh, it gives us so much joy that you've come to join us since Asmodeus has our master in prison. Can you sing for us? Can you sing the song for us? But of course. I pull out as soon as as soon as we get inside. I pull out my yarding to to help assist him. Oh, what the fuck is a yard? It's a it's a it's a musical instrument. Oh, okay. That I have. <laughs> My, they're like, okay, we will, we definitely need this song for you, and, and we're going to go inside, and we're going to make this happen, and it's going to be great, and my computer is not totally lagging, so that's cool, um, so they're going to invite you in through the, oh my gosh, You're going to go into the courtyard. So you're ushered in to the courtyard, which you'll get to see in a minute. But while we're waiting for me to catch up, sing us a song, Akufias. They're so excited. People come out and they join you and they want to hear you sing. I I, I, uh, I, I turn to Dodrick and I'm like, uh, this would be a great time for a light show. Uh, if there ever was one. And then... I start <clears throat> following you. <clears throat> I'm assisting. And I pull out the pipe organ and I and I you hear ba -da -da -da. you hear the tale of everything bad. Asmodeus. Asmodeus. He stinks, he's smelly, he's bad, he's ugly. Asmodeus. Asmodeus. Take it from me, the best of the best. He's the worst. Look at my chest. Asmodeus. Asmodeus. Look at the sky. It's smiling. Not for Asmodeus. Not for Asmodeus. He stinks. He's ugly. Asmodeus. Ah. There is much clapping, much cheering. They are so excited to see you, to hear your wonderful song. So they say, let's go in. It's freaking, yeah. So now you are standing in the courtyard of the castle here. Very exciting. You can see that, as soon as I make it open, that there's a um they the the uh whew, words the cultist folks there um they say that they are happy to put you up for the night um that their big party is going to happen soon um and that they say um they're a little surprised that you brought so many friends so many guests. Um, so that they're going to need a couple, um, <laughs> more than a couple minutes, they say, to kind of prepare spaces for you to spend the night. 
Um, but they encourage you to have a look around, to explore the castle while you're waiting. Well, thank you very much. Interesting. Um, we spun up. Yeah, I mean, we probably did. Groups of three or something fun like that. What? We, I said we could split up if we wanted. I think it might be worth our while. Then we would cover more ground. Sure. Uh, I grabbed Dodrick and I don't know whoever wants to call it. Us. Okay. Um, Let's go. There's some more sausages, and I grab Vanellia. Oh. <laughs> it's because I Hang on, you guys are. I can't hear you guys. You're like fading in and out. Is it just us? Zoom's giving up on us. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it just <laughs> us? Like, I can't no, really no. hear. I'm hearing a lot of static. Crazy. Okay. I don't know. We lost video from Lynn well, we and Chris. We lost the video for a second. I'm feeding the baby. She's feeding okay. the baby. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah, but you're also, like, super staticky. Yeah. I, nothing I can do about that. Hold on one second. <clears throat> um, How about now? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yes. that's much better. All right. Wait, um, so you're taking okay. Dodrick and Renalia? Yep. And and I say, because I pulled out the yarding, isn't it? Yes, we'll talk about that later. And we go. <laughs> okay, um, so then I guess Calanthier and then so Percy that. and me will go in another direction. Yeah. So, so okay. To the northeast, that little ring. Go to the, the left. Is that what you mean? No. Uh, the one to the right. But uh, let, let me let me let me tell you what you're looking at here in the courtyard. Yeah. So you're in this courtyard here. You can see obviously that um, from the outside, when you came in, the walls were about twenty feet over your head. On the inside, the inner walls are only about ten feet high. You can see that there are footprints in the snow that lead to the various doors around the perimeter. Um, you, in front of you there are the doors to what you assume are the castle's keep, so the inside there. There's also that other smaller room you can see there. Um, and there is behind you, uh, hold on, I got lost. Behind you, there are doorways that were going to lead into the two um, guard towers there as well. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Hmm. Okay. And so we're, you guys are killing me. You're splitting up, so. Who's going where? All right. So we'll now if we go to the like right, will that lead down a hall or is that just like still like the inner part of the keep there? Yeah, let me get that. That's still the inner part of the keep. Okay. So we'll go through the middle doors, I guess into the castle itself? Sure. Okay. So, into the castle itself. Let us open this up. All right, and the other group, I want you guys thinking about what you're doing. So, be ready when we get there. Yep. Um, Cool. Okay, so 
as you enter into the keep here, what we see is... Oh, I really need a new computer, you guys. Oh. <laughs> what you see here is... Entering into... Okay, so you have entered here into the Great Hall. What this is, um, you, there is, it is dimly lit by chandeliers that are missing most of their candles. There are three long tables along the center of the hall that is um, littered with dirty dishes. And you notice that there is a young tiefling servant that is slowly collecting all of these dishes. And she's going to appear in just a moment. Um, and you can also see along the back there, there's the stairways that kind of lead up onto a balcony. And you can notice around the, the, there are three doors in that room. You can see that there is one on the left and two on the right. Um, and you are in the room. Should we talk to the tiefling? Yeah, I'll, I'll go up in the tiefling and I'll say, I ah, see we missed the meal. I'm so sorry uh, that we missed such a wonderful meal. Well, I appreciate all that you do, and I, I toss him a gold coin because I'm for Kufus. Okay. She takes your coin and. Oh my God. Okay, she takes your coin and she says, Awesome, thank you so much for the coin here. Um you notice that she does seem to be a bit skittish. Um, she says that um, I, you know, I really just have to do my job here. Um, and uh, I can't bring you dinner because that part of the job's over. Um, but thanks for the coin. Not that I can use it. Um, yeah. Why can't you use it? Where am I supposed to use the coin? Are there no shops for you to use it? Not in the castle. <clears throat> Why not? There's no stalls or vendors? N no. You saw them, didn't you? That there was none? No, I, I, I sang my my heart away. I saw nothing but music. Oh, how 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 did? Wait, you came here by yourself? I came here with uh, my husband and uh, my other members of my party. Daughter waves. Oh. Oh. But no one made you come here? I know I was invited, in Does, fact. Do we notice that this... Um, tiefling? Tiefling has, happens to have a Chardolin pendant, by any chance? It's oh. visible. Why don't you give me a investigation check? Can I assist him in that? It's a dirty How are 20. you assisting him? Dirty twenty. Yeah. Never don't don't Hakubis don't because yeah. you're gonna make <laughs> That's it worse. I figured it isn't needed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So as you're looking over this this tiefling, what you notice here is that she seems to be quite young. Um, she she's probably a teenager. Um, 
and you you don't see any visible signs of Chardolin on her. Um, and she does appear, um, like I said, she's young, but she appears, you know, well taken care of, right? So she's not, you know, well taken care of. She's a servant, but she's she's okay. Not, um, can uh, I'm sure if I should just ask or cast message? I'll cast message, I guess, to to Rakufius just to make it even more awkward. Um, it uh. This this cannot be emojied. Um, is is she is she with the speaker or is she with the knights of the black sword? Oh my dear, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. My name is Hakufius. What's what is your name? Oh, my name is Mare. Mare, Mare, it's a oh. pleasure to meet you, Mare. Mare, are you with? Did you come by this place because you worked with the speaker or you came with the knights? Oh, <clears throat> well, I came with Cadres. He found me from when I was, well, <sighs> you see, I used to live in Targos, but then like my mom died and I was like really hungry and um, Cadres found me. Um, and like, even though he's like really scary, um, he makes sure that I get to eat. So I'm going to stay here and do my job. Oh, can you tell us anything about Cadris? Who is Cadris? Oh, well, he's a tiefling. Um, he's the one that I guess they're the cult, but I mean, they're the knight. And they've been nice to me too. Um, but now we live here. Oh, cool. Is he, is he like the leader of the knights or just a member of the, the knights? Oh, yeah. He's the leader. Where's Cardruth now? Um, probably in his study. Which way is his study if we wanted to meet him? Oh, um,. You know, it's a, uh, 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 um, you know, I, I just really have to do my job. Well, I clearly he sent this letter. I would love to, a chance to meet him. I, I'm sure he wouldn't mind you telling us. Oh, well, his, his studies is uh, 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 just, just, just to the room over that way. And she points to the door on the left. Okay. Well, thank you, Mayor. Doddrick, any more questions? I, with a name like Mayor, are you named after the sea? La Mer. Um, I don't know. My mom died. She never told me that. Sounds we have a we have a tiefling friend who uh, uh, seems to be in a similar situation. Seems seems common for tieflings to have found family. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you know, I mean, you you've been awfully nice to me, um, which is great. But you know, like, not all tieflings are bad. Like, Cadreth has been, you know, scary. But nice to me, unlike the the tiefling in in the basement. Ah, tiefling in the basement, my other favorite album I produced. Oh, uh, what is this tiefling in the basement? What's his name or their name? Excuse me. So bold too soon. Uh, well, she's a uh, she's the most scary, um, and and she's a. Uh, well, she's a white tiefling. She she has a lair down there. Is she imprisoned or is What's she live there freely? Well, she pretty much does whatever she wants. I mean, she took the other servants away and like I can really use their help. Like I need to do my job, but it's like really hard, but like you sh you shouldn't go down there. It's it's not it's not good. 
Um, the in the basement. What, does she have a name by chance? It's just so we can know to avoid. Uh, her, it seems like. I don't know her name. I just know she's a white tiefling. I I only wow. saw her once. Um, can daughter message uh, her goofies again? <clears throat> So, mm-hmm. uh, Hakuvis, don't you have an unseen servant that might be able to help? What would you like, Lyle? Oh, I can't say anything. Right? Yeah, you can I... speak back to me. Yeah, you oh, can I can't speak me. back. Uh, what would you like, Lyle, to do? Just do to I... help. I forget the name of this tiefling in front of us. I totally missed that part. But Mayor? Just to help Mayor, of course. I said, uh, Mayor, see, dummy. All right. Just to help with the uh, help sure. Mayor. With her job, right? She has no sure. help. Yes. I, uh, I cast, I cast, uh, <laughs> I cast, uh, my unseen servant at first level. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Lyle comes mm-hmm. out. And, uh, I have Lyle assist Mare with anything she does. And I say, Mare, why don't you show us around a little bit? You know, let Lyle pick up the slack. Oh. Oh, no. She's really worried about that. She doesn't want to show you around. But she's she's glad Lyle's there to help. Um, and she just kind of, like, points you to the door on the left there. Um, okay. So, Mare, maybe, you know, maybe but... Lyle here can help you. And if, and if you, you know, if you ever... You know, we we have friends who are tieflings as well. If you ever want to get out and see the world a bit, just just let us know. We're always we're always happy to have another companion. Yes, you're welcome to talk to our tiefling. Okay. But don't so, tell her. <laughs> don't tell her let's what? Let's go to the. <laughs> I said, don't tell her, but I like you more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, other team, what are you doing? So we were gonna go. Um, Krista, is Krista in there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, all okay. right. Um, we were thinking of going to the guards in the guard towers. Or Liam, did okay. we change our mind and want to go in that door down there? Yeah, I think we're gonna go to the next door over. Are you okay with that, Kristen? Or I think that sounds delightful. Wow. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So you're going here? Yep. 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 So you go into this doorway, and that is, let's see, opening up the door, you are. Oh, I should play. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. So opening up the door here, once you get in, <laughs> as you open the door, you hear the loud barking of dogs. And oh, as you as you enter into that, you are greeted by six sled dogs, and they kind of gather around you in, in a friendly, nice way that that doggies do looking for pets. All the pets. All the pets. Okay. Oh, nice dog. Thanks, dog. Thank you. Um, How? There's six dogs? Mm hmm. Say something to them, Percy. Talk to them. Tell them to ask them what is them. Tell us all their their secrets. Yeah. (laughs) What are they hiding? Or what are um, they guarding? Or why are there so many dogs in this room? How long has it been since we were in the inn? Mm, I don't know. No more than half an hour. Okay, so I still have speak with animals up, so sure. Yay. Okay. Oh, wait, the never dog. mind. Ten minutes. I thought that was an hour. I am wrong. Um, I'm... Do we have 10 minutes? <laughs> Can I just sit and pet the dogs for 10 minutes while slowly casting speak with animals <laughs> ritually? 
Okay, if, if you're going to do that, we're going to hop there. <laughs> if that's what you would like to do, we are going to hop back to the other team then while you're casting. Okay. So do we want to go to the okay. study or do we want to look at one of the other rooms first? Um... I mean, I, th I think it makes the most sense to go to the study. But... Yeah. All right, yeah. let's do it. All right, I'll go um, knock on yep, the door. Yeah. Okay. So, you enter this room where Mayor has pointed you to. And inside this room is... Uh, inside the room is not a person. You don't see any person in this room for sure. And what you do see when you open up the doors is... Watch this fence. Oh, I lied to you. Sorry, see, this is the trouble. Okay, so you, inside of this room here, actually, when you open up the door, you notice that there is a human in here, and they oh. are wearing one of those sword amulets. And he stops you when you enter the room, um, but as he stops you, he's a bit bumbling. He's a bit clumsy. He drops his um, sword that he was holding. He bends down to pick it up. He trips over the end of this long robe he is wearing, and in this whole process, he manages to knock a portrait off the wall with a big giant bang. And he says, what are you doing here? Trying He's to throw walls in a trench coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I, I'm so s sorry to startle you. And I uh, I, uh, I help him lift up the, the portrait off, off the ground. And uh, I, I am... Uh, <laughs> Goofiest. I was invited to here, and I was was told that uh, I forget his name now. Um, Cadris. Cadris was uh, in this room. Are you Cadris? Oh no, he laughs. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, Cadris is communicating with Levistus right now, and um, you need to come back later. Is everything okay? You sound urgent as you say these things. Well, you know, he just really can't be disturbed. But um, if you want to speak to someone, you should go upstairs and talk to Herschel. She'll talk to you right now. Herschel. Who? Herschel? Who is, who is Herschel? Oh, Herschel is a great soothsayer. She's definitely someone you want to talk to. Okay. Is, is she also a tiefling by chance? Oh, no, no, no. Herschel's a dwarf. Ah. Nice. I like the little people. <laughs> As, you know, yeah. Keep it in your pants. Uh... Not, not that kind of like, but okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> could you point me in the direction of where Herschel is. So he turns around and he shouts out the door for Mare, who, um, you know, she kind of shows up very slowly. She's still trying to pick up dishes and things. Um, but when she gets into the room, she scolds this guy for breaking something else. Um, and as she's scolding him, he raises his hand up at her, made, making her shrink back. Um, I and then he says, you supposed to lead them to the soothsayer, not give me sex. And I, and I kind of put my hand and I kind of gesture a little bit dramatically. And I go, oh, this is this is too much. This is unnecessary. It's OK. It's OK. We'll, we, they will lead us to where they need to go. It's fine. We're good. And I, I said, where, where are we putting this portrait? And I, I asked him to help me. I mean, where we're going to hang this thing. Okay. So you get the portrait back up on the wall there. 
and and I, Doderick I, what cast, I, what cast I, what the digitation on, on his undergarments to make him uncomfortable, mm. if at all possible. <laughs> yes, of course, Doderick. Yeah. Can we see what, what does of... this actual amulet look like? That the... Ah, give me investigation. Uh, seventeen. What was that number? Uh, one seven. One seven. One seven. So you get a pretty good look at this amulet because he's quite proud of it, displaying it. It is definitely one of those um, Shardling sword amulets around his neck. So, so it's it's a. So it's Shardling and has a symbol on it, or it is shaped like a sword. It is shaped like a sword. It is a black crystal shaped like the sword. Okay. Um, as I help him set up the the portrait, I take a look back and what what do I see on the portrait? Ah, uh, so the portrait there, what you see is it is a portrait of the current speaker. Um, Sieber, um, you know this because it's kind of a grumpy looking old man with gray hair. Um, and it's also labeled with the name Sieber. Um, so that's the portrait. I was like, I, I take a look at it, I step back, I'm like, wow, look at Grumpy Grump. This is a uh, Sieber Sieber. Oh, where is Speaker Sieber? I haven't uh... seen probably um in his room like he's sick so he's recovering in his room um i'm sure mayor could take you there too could i do a deception check sure not sure i believe him so do an insight check insight or what should what would the yeah, yeah insight. insight insight all right all right that would be a 14. okay so what you get on your insight check here is that he telling the truth the speaker is definitely in his room um you you're not he's not a hundred percent sure if the speaker is really sick or not but that's what he's been told okay well, thank you very much. And we didn't catch his name, did we? We didn't. Um, is, thank you so much. Uh, I didn't catch it. What was your name? So his name is Tom. Tom. Akuvius likes a good name like Tom, and I kind of slap him on the back. <laughs> okay. So let's hop back to the other team who was speaking to Jogs. Oh, who's your good puppy? Are you a good puppy? Yes, it is. It's you. You're the best puppy. Just kidding. You're all the best puppies. The dogs are like licking Nick Mon, and he's like, why? Why is uh, this whole night just everyone, me having to kiss people I don't want to kiss? <laughs> Percy is reveling. Um, She is the happiest she's been in a while with the puppies and is probably not paying that much attention. Wait, why did you guys want me to ask them? Ask them what, like, what secrets are, are they keeping any secrets or, like, are, are they guarding anything? Like, what's... Oh. And the dogs kind of look at you a little weird and then they kind of go over and to um there's kind of like hay piled around in here you know for the dogs to sleep in and stay warm in and they kind of go towards the back wall there and they kind of like um use the little snoots to poke at something and from the hay there sits up a young boy that looks like he was taking a nap <laughs> and he's kind of grumpy about being woken up um well, you know wolf. he was like he I was mean... just taking a break hi Says, who are you? Well, I'm Percy. Who are you? I'm Alistar. 
Um, Hello, Alizar. Alizar, is it? You, okay. you, you can't talk to the dogs. No, no. Oh, no. The boy. Were you not? Oh, sorry. I missed that. Sorry. I was looking. At... I apologize. Sorry. So, what you doing? I take care of the dogs. Do you have something to eat? Um, yes. Lime. Yes. I have a lime. Yes. Not that one. What? You have that one. Like? What? Do you eat? Percy, please, please repeat yourself. Oh, Sorry. I just said don't give them the special lime. Oh no, I wasn't gonna give them that lime. I've got other oh. lime. All right. <laughs> I have so many limes yeah. from that place. I mean, he'll take a lime. He's not too happy about it, but he'll take a lime. Okay. I've got some rations. There you have rations? Have. Yeah. Okay. Nick Fon's got her. Um, oh, oh my God, I can't talk. Um, Clint has got rations. You can have some rations. Rations? Rations. Ooh. He like takes one and he shoves the whole thing right in his mouth and he like spews out a whole bunch of crumbs and he says, You got some more? <laughs> uh, strong growing lad. Why? I like to see. Did you Here you just... go. I, I'm going to give him all my rations. Whoa. He's so happy. Listen, you can't Perfect. flirt with him the way that I flirted Excuse with Mildred. Me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse just me. Joking. Flirting is different to grooming. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful. You started in the market for a new ward anyway, so. What? He's in the market for a new ward anyway. He lost the yeah. other one. <laughs> one. Right. It starts with rations. <laughs> um... So, so, he, so he was taking a, so he's taking or taking a break. Um, what, what are you, um, what are the dogs in here for? Well, they're, you know, everyone uses dogs here for travel and supplies and getting things between the towns. And I, take care of them now not true some people use goats <laughs> oh he's like continuing to eat ration bars and he just kind of stares at you like goats i'm petting oh. the dogs. that's an amazing I'm... amulet you've got there what, what is that does he have one? You know the, 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 the little... Does he have one? He had a... Oh, no, I'm confusing it with the other... Oh, my God. I'm just going to stop. See you later. <laughs> well... I was confusing it with the other one. Does he have an amulet? Room. Can oh, we yeah. see if he has Sorry. one? Give me an investigation check. Is that... I don't know. Is that Percy or... Who's giving the investigation? Check? I'll let one of you two do the investigation. I guess we're just seeing if he does have the amulet. Let's let's go. Let's backtrack a little bit and go. So I'll, I'll let you have a pretty good investigation. Don't you? Um, I don't know if I was going to be good. Let's see. Investigation. No, that's not. Well, you rolled, or not? No, I know. But what did Kristen? Did you roll? I did not roll anything. Okay. Right, so you roll. So what okay, is it? So it's a um, seven. A seven. Seven. So you, what you notice about this young boy here is that he's his face is kind of smudged, kind of covered in ration crumbs now. He's a he's a little dirty. His clothes are covered in hay. Um, he doesn't appear to be wearing a necklace of any kind, but like he's just really covered in hay and stuff. It's hard to tell. Damn it. Um, 
I feel like I don't know what else to ask. Um, well, he pipes up and he says, well, since you um, gave me all these rations here, I can show you around. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I bring a dog? <laughs> um, I guess so. <laughs> Great, she's gonna steal a dog, and there'll be another one in the party. Well, uh, all right. What, what's a uh, what's what's a, uh, a impressive place in this in this place? Oh, okay. He says. He like totally like shoots out the door and he crosses <laughs> the courtyard there and he's like, I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places in the whole place. It's super cool. We're gonna go there. And I love it. he crosses Let's go. He crosses the yard and he's going to take you up into let me get this going here. One I of the guard you, towers. You should have been to the guard towers, I told you. Oh, in the guard tower, as soon as everything gets moving, <laughs> we're yeah, well, I think we'll stick with you guys. Let's keep sticking with here. So, you um, he bursts into the guard towers, and there are several folks there, um, several guards. Um, but they don't seem to be paying any attention to your little friend, Alistar. Um, he tends to move around by himself, um, without anyone questioning what he's doing. But hmm. what happens is you see eventually, okay, here we go. There we are. Okay. So in this guard tower, when you enter, you'll notice that there are um, six wooden cots. There are three of them that are occupied by sleeping cultists. Um, you also notice that there are staircases that go up to walk around the ramparts as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and on these, um, th there is the weird thing about this, even though these cultists are sleeping on the bed, um, what you notice right away is that there are gusts of winds that come down from the stairs and it seems to be quite cold in here as well. Um, hmm. but, um, that's kind of, um, LSR kind of continues up the stairway there, um, up to the ramparts there. Oh, I'm gonna follow him. Yep, we're, yeah, okay. we're just we're yeah. just following this eager young lad. Okay. So we're gonna go upstairs, and as you get upstairs, I'll get the map going in just a second, guys. As you go up the stairs, there, what you notice, you are in the chamber that is equipped with the gears and pulleys and chains and all those cool things that raise and lower the portcullises. Um, and in the middle of the floor there, there are some holes, kind of where the defensive stuff is to pour hot oil, et cetera, down. Um, mm -hmm. But the more important thing is, as you come up the stairs behind Alisar, you notice that there are two people in this space. There is a human male, and then there is a red tiefling. And as you come up, the human demands, he says, who are you? What are you doing here? What the heck? <laughs> Came with the kid. No, we we are guests of the. Oh wait, wait. Uh, we are guests of the great um, Hercufius, and Alice Alisar here is just showing us around the castle to uh, be better acquainted with our new surroundings. What he said. Oh, who's Hakufius? Did you not hear the singing the song earlier? The big, the big party in the oh. commotion. Oh, oh my gosh, you're 
with Hakuthias who wrote yeah. that. Oh yeah. Really uh, so oh yeah. Hard. Don't wanna brag, but I you know, I'm kind of best friends with him. I know him. I know, I know him. Cool. There we are. We made it. Ooh. We're upstairs. This is quite the impressive armory you've got here. Oh, so he says, how long have you known Hakufius? Oh, a lifetime. Long time. <laughs> Too long, in fact. Do you think he would sing us more songs? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Well, I think he would sing until your ears bleed. <laughs> well, I plan oh. to he's planning to do more today. He's going to have a lot of fun. Or tonight, I guess. Are you the... <gasps> tonight he will sing more? Oh, for sure. You just need to ask. <laughs> Are you here to join us? Depends uh, on what you mean by join you. We've been invited. Uh, I'm not sure what... Uh... What do you mean by join you? Yeah. You're going to become a follower of La Vista? Maybe I've I've heard great things about this Levistus. Oh well, I don't know. Like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, you. It's pretty important that you join, right? Like, why else would you be here? That's that's fair. That's uh, hmm. Uh, anyone? Anyone? Just me? No? I'm trying to think of what to say. Is this is your dad? <laughs> Does Levistus have any kids that he doesn't know about? I really regret pulling you two in. Uh, trying to flay around for... I should have just kept flailing. <laughs> well, he says... No, Levistus is not my dad, but he saved me when I thought I was going to freeze to death. I heard his voice in my <laughs> mind. He's the devil. He's a devil. How 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 do we join? Oh, well, you know, you just have to go talk to Cadrus and he'll give you um, an amulet and then you would have to pledge yourself to Levistus' service. Um, yeah. Oh. Is there like a ceremony? Do I get a special robe? Um, I mean... Yeah, I'm only in it for the blade. Let me join. I'm only in it if I get something out of it. Who is this? Who is this? It's like you have a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde situation. You're speaking to Mildred and you're like, oh no, I couldn't. And then you're like, yeah, I'm here for the blade. My God is a man of many colors. <laughs> well, I would love to speak to, to Kagreth. Uh, um, about uh, this initiation into your lovely community. Wait, before I join anything, I have to know what what do you stand for? Like, what's your what's your moral background? <laughs> do I have to kiss? I can't just join blindly. I gotta know the facts. Can't just kiss and tell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you could try at least. Come on. <laughs> I, I mean, I, he's a uh, he's getting a little confused. He needs a more specific question than that to answer. Okay, so so what? <laughs> All right, let me just flex my muscles again, and then 
So, so yo, what do you so, stand for? So what um what do you what do you stand for? Like what um what's your mission? Yeah, what's your mission? What's your mission statement? Well, he says that um he uh, he says, well, I mostly follow Levistus because he saved me from freezing to death. And um, the goal here is to eventually free the Archdevil from his prison um, in the seventh layer of hell um, and to help him um, well, he's like, I don't really know all the things since I'm kind of new at this, but I think the goal is to, like, help Levistus rule the towns instead of Oriel. Hmm. That Are you planning a war? Yeah, ma. Um, not that I know about. Okay, okay, but like, what if Levistus did summer and Oriel did winter and everything just went back to normal? Oh my god, what if they get um, married? Sorry, y'all. Yeah. Came down and scared the ever loving crap out of all of us. Sorry, we're just having a moment. Carry on. Just want to let you know in case you saw my face just go, ooh. <laughs> Um, I just gonna ask the question. What you're asking a question? Oh, sorry, go ahead. What what was happening? Oh, I thought Percy asked the question. No, she just kind of was like talking. Oh, um, I was I just suggesting that the two evildoers get married and just regulate the seasons. Get it on. Get it frisky. Um, this episode has taken a very like. Let me let me relationship. let me ask you a, a question here. Uh, are, are you two, um, the impressive gods of uh, uh, of the watch of this castle? Yes. Ah, I thought so. Looking at you both with the great stature in which you stand, I can see that you're you're both two individuals of of extreme power and and awesomeness. I can I can tell that just from talking to you and and just from how uh, how strong your presence is in, in this room. Can you show, okay. Can you show me around this uh, armory? I'm I, I'm very interested. I uh, I come from a military background myself, and so I uh, I uh, I can appreciate a, a well stocked armory, and and uh, especially the the uh, <laughs> the the preparedness. I'm a a, a huge appreciator of uh, uh, of that. And... What are you? You like. What are you even saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to see through. I want to go rummaging through this shit. That's what I want to do. Okay. I'm trying to do it nicely. Um, no, he says no. Only only members get to to see the armor. Oh, that's fair. See, I this is why you you two are on. Watch. You're loyal mm -hmm. and, and strong and firm. I like that. Oh my god. Um I want to ask about the basement, but we don't know that, do we? We no, don't know we that. We have no idea about the basement. No. Okay. Um so who's so the so your leader of your your group? Is the arch devil, but he you have to you have to let him out. Like he's yeah. trapped. Mm -hmm. Can okay. I ask how long he has been trapped for? 
Nice. Ask oh, for goodness. It. Centuries, at least. Okay, so he's not my dad. Got it. Just check Does he have any children he doesn't know about? <laughs> <laughs> they would be centuries old. It's fine. <laughs> Um. So, him. So we had to go see Kil- K- Kadriel. Is that if I say the right word? K- no, mm-hmm. Kagra. K- yeah, K- we have to go visit him to become a member. Yeah. Okay, where is he? Uh, probably in his office. Study. Which is okay. off of the Great Hall. Oh, okay. Well, maybe um, Alazar can take us there. Yes. Yes, he can. Okay. I guess let's let's just do that. Uh, Alasar, take us to... Uh, do you mind taking us to the office so we can... Speak to him? Join this party. <laughs> We'll just have you beat him up. It's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, dokie. So, is that what you want to do? Go back and join the others? Yeah. 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 We'll uh, we'll 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 just meet. Yeah, we'll meet and meet up again. Okay. Unless Percy, unless Percy, there is anything. Yeah, is there Percy? Do you want to do anything else or ask anything else? No, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let us rejoin the parties. So what you guys have anything you want to share with each other? What you learned? No, you're just ready to go follow Mayor upstairs and talk to the suits there. I I I, I, I probably Mayor and I talked to him about uh Cadrith and that he's talking to Person. Could we, yeah. by chance, so that I'm just curious, uh, could could we do a? I feel like this would be a history check, so we know they they are fans of his uh, Hakufi's song, dissing Asmodeus. Mm-hmm. Any chance we could get a little history of that? Because I'm curious about what I'm curious about is if the Dorgar are in league with who who the Dorgar and are in league with in the Underdark, essentially. If there's who who's doing what, and if we have any idea based on the history of of everything. Oh yeah, roll me, roll me history check. That is a twenty-three. Beautiful. So, going through all of the things that you have learned in all of your book learning, Dodic, what you remember is that. So Asmodeus is a king of hell, and he has imprisoned Levistus into an icy prison in the seventh layer of hell. Um, And so obviously those two devils don't get along so well, as you might imagine. Um, But since you... But you also recall that Asmodeus often speaks to the Duergar to do his bidding. So they worship him quite um, quite a lot. So he often comes to aid them when they need it. Um, so there's definitely some connection there. So it is, it is most likely that the Duergar are in league with Asmodeus rather than Levistus here. Yes, yes. Got it. Okay. Interesting. Um, so obviously we alert the party that the whole, that there's probably a high chance that we've been invited here to join the Knights of the Black Sword. Um, one of the things I ask about is, um, uh, I now I heard the name I wasn't I wasn't paying attention honestly. Um but I heard the name Tom. Is that it, it, would I have an inkling that that's my Thomas, like the old guard, my old commander Thomas. 
No, this is a different one. Okay. All right. Just want to double check that one. But yeah, just, just, yeah, I think we're going to be joining a cult, guys. Um, <laughs> be careful. They've got some really cool necklaces, but I don't know if it's worth so, the bling, JK. Take fun. So it seems like everyone, I guess, I guess we don't have evidence that they're collecting. That the 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 knights of the black sword are collecting. I feel like we might want to ask about Charlon. See if they're collect because it's it's like, is everyone is this is this like the Cold War? Uh, we're just we're just stockpiling Charlon until uh, an event. Or, I, I, or this this sounds really strange, but is there a way for us to check if the people around us are actually alive? Because Ooh. I have a I have an inkling Are that they, they didn't yeah they didn't actually survive the cold and that they're just like walking dead yeah oh that's a good point I never thought of that yeah seems like a thing a paladin would figure out that's for sure but, yeah right I'm just like <laughs> but I don't know I don't have Couldn't anything one of you like... have a thing I'm just you're looking through dead. my spells I don't have a thing. <laughs> I feel like clerics might have a thing. I'm looking. Hang on. No, I have um. <clears throat> the only thing, the only thing I have, tech good and evil, is um. Where is it? It's like sense good and evil or divine. Doesn't uh... that do it? I don't have that anymore. No, okay. all it, all so the I can all I can do is detect good and evil. Um, I can sense if someone is un well. You can sense anything affected by the hallow spell or known location of any celestial fiend undead within sixty feet. So I don't know if that would give me an inkling as to if we're just surrounded by dead people. <laughs> I, I think it might. Yeah, I think it might if you can sense undead, right? Yeah. And that's what you're looking for. Mm hmm Can I okay. I mean, does he need advantage at all? My favorite enemy is the undead. I mean it's it's a s it's technically a spell. So oh, yeah. yeah. It just happens. It's one of those fun little features. <laughs> My spidey sense is tingling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so are we? Are you casting the spell? <clears throat> yes, yes, I will. Yeah. Okay, so what you pick up on here is that your friend Ashar, Ashar, whatever, can't even say it anymore. <laughs> the little boy friend that you've made and Mare, um, <laughs> they are definitely, you know living, breathing, totally fine. Um, they don't have any of those Chardolin necklaces on. They're just kind of in the castle here doing their jobs. Um, interestingly, from Tom, and, and you think from the, the other guards that you meant there, um, at the moment, they're still alive, right? They're, they're definitely, right. it's almost like you get a sense that perhaps they're, um oh the best way i can describe it it's as if their um their life timeline has stopped for a moment so like they almost died but oh. then they were saved and plucked from it so they're kind of almost yeah does that make sense yes it does i okay. uh, it's like so they're like they're on, <laughs> basically on pause they're not quite yes, they're in yes. the balance between life and death okay yeah Wow. Oh, they're like that in between. Yeah, they're in limbo right now, basically. Um, Ooh. I'm glad I thought to question that. Same. Uh, so. Okay. With that knowledge, are we following Mare upstairs to the suit? Sayer's room. That was where they were going. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. We'll we'll come with the group and just again, well, I guess while we're on 
in motion to the room. We're just kind of gossiping about <laughs> the stuff. Okay. So you kind of go upstairs here. Um, and where we are now is you can kind of see there are an upper walkway here. Excuse me, it stops moving. And down below is kind of, not kind of, down below is like the great hall where those tables were below. Um, so Mary takes you upstairs and there's this door on the left here that she points to. Um, she says, Herthel is through there, but I, I'm, I'm not going in there. She's, yeah, I'm just not going in there. You, you can go in there yourself. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Why don't you want to go in there? Um, you know, she's just like really intense, and like, um, I don't really want to know my future. Um, because she just does that. Like, she just says things, and it's kind of scary. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> interesting. Oh. So, um, okay. Thank you. Okay, so she leaves you, and so down the hallway there, you'll notice there are two doors. Do you want to go into the one to the north or the south? Hey guys, maybe we maybe we end it. Can we and maybe want to end it here tonight? Yeah. I feel like. Some of us are struggling. I, yeah, I'm, I'm. Liam's tripping over his words. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It, it's it's one of those things where my multitasking skills have gone, so I'm like concentrating writing while also not listening. Yeah. And so, I um, yeah. I wonder if we. No, it's good if, because no. Yep, yep, yep. I was. We were gonna stop real soon anyway, so we can stop okay. here.